Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend my movie, Maniacs. And today we're going to take a look at Kiss of the Damned, an independent horror film now on video on demand. And Kiss of the Damned tells us the story of a screenplay writer who, while in a remote place trying to write his next big screenplays in just a small village, well, he comes across paths of this beautiful woman and becomes madly in love with her. Well... When he finds out she's a blood-sucking fiend from beyond the grave, he doesn't care. He still wants to carry on a relationship with her. And they do. They share many, many things. Well, that relationship then is soon tested when the rebellious sister Mimi shows up, the over-sexually charged, dark, rebellious sister of the girl who the screenplay writer is madly in love with. And we see how that... A new element test the relationship between our two lovebirds and see if Mimi can rock their boat and break them apart or if they can uh, turn wise to her nefarious plans and uh, their relationship can survive this third element. Uh, Kiss of the Damned is a fantastically shot film, okay? Has the dark sensuality of an old classic Italian vampire film, okay? With a touch of hammer mixed in just for fun. Uh, you know, I loved the whole feel of this movie. It does not feel like a modern film. This feels like someone dug down in some Italian movie vault, dusted off some vintage film that no one had saw before, gave it the DVD treatment, and threw it on video on demand. That's the feel of it. From the look, which I think it was shot on film, it had to be because it looked just too classic to be digital, to the dialogue, to the directing. Everything about it just captures the spirit of those old school Italian horror films, okay? And those weren't uh, fully driven on action either. We do have a lot of horrific vampire events in here, but you've got some really dark sensuality going on. you got some very steamy moments in here, and you get a cameo by Michael Rappaport uh, just for, uh, you know, extra little bit of flavor to the film. I enjoyed every bit of it. Now, there is some gore in there and some blood effects, and they're all done well. We don't have too many vamp-out moments, and when we do, they make sense, and they follow the plot to help move the plot along, because we do have characters with some depth in here, which I really like. It, it definitely, this film does not have that modern feel at all to it, and it was a refreshing change to a lot of the uh, Schlollywood horror that we've seen lately. Folks, Kiss of the Dam accomplishes exactly what it's meant to. With its beautiful soundtrack that sounds like it was ripped from the 70s, to the overall look, to the performances of all the actors and actresses in this movie, it definitely uh, has that old school feel to it, and it's one you should put on your list if you're a fan of the Italian vampire horror film. If you're a fan of a good vampire film that doesn't have sparkly vampires in it, or if you're just looking for something different from the mainstream film, definitely check out Kiss of the Damned. It takes a road less traveled, tries to capture that classic feel, and it accomplishes both. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, keep that thick and stuff.